Hello, welcome back to BS Live. In this episode, I will be sharing um, this little project that I was doing. Basically, um, there is this a MIDI creation tool on the internet called Music Lab Chrome Experiments. And so you can basically set up a MIDI, something like that. You can make your own um, song and then you save it and you can save it as MIDI or Wave. I'm saving it at, at both. So this is the result. So yeah, I'm using the marimba song, uh, marimba, uh, marimba sound, and this is the waveform that I bring into Blender, and the MIDI itself I actually import it into Blender using this add routes um, add-on. So there is these options for your MIDI file, and once you set the file, and you just simply hit convert MIDI file, it will work right away. Um, if you set it up correctly um, so this is how I set it up so I set it so it's driving this head locations based on the MIDI key on number okay so you can see that the result of the animations so the head moves up and down based on this okay that's one thing on top of that of course this head also kind of like um, moving his mouth yeah so it, the character is actually say uh, maybe if I can turn this maybe maybe I just delete this for now so it's actually the way I created the song I imagine a sentence and I just turn it into music or melody or rhythm. I can add drums, etc. But for now, he actually says, I can blend a little and then together we blend more. So that's a, that's the, the jingle. It's a stupid jingle, I know, but uh, it's interesting. It was based on the, the guy who wrote the Linux. He said, I can code a little but now he actually say I can blend a little it's actually kind of funny if you turn it into a shirt and yeah but you have to collaborate with other people other artists than the artists to to create really create something so here I'm really um, kind of uh, just improvising uh, uh, this was inspired by one of the TED talk where this uh, the speaker I think she's an, an African American or maybe he sees from Africa but she she say you can imagine a sentence and turn it into music because in Africa whatever they say can be turned into music and rhythm and you can <clears throat> turn it into dance performance and you can also use instrument right so if you want to try to make from scratch anyway so we can use the you can use a cube or the monkey head let's turn this into a MIDI okay this one like I said you can save it so this is the the link right if you want that jingle yeah I think you can just copy that number anyway let's create our own from scratch actually so this is the music lab. There's a rhythm, etc. But the only one that's safe is actually Song Maker. This one is really cool too. If you want to play with the rhythm, this is something actually I want to create in Blender uh, and then turn it into AR. For now, Song Maker. Song Maker does actually work. So if you make Let's make it faster. Anyway, that's that's the song, and you can save it as MIDI. 
and also wave. So Blender will need wave, but the MIDI will drive our animations procedurally, okay? So our monkey head, we want to drive using that MIDI just now. So like I said earlier, add routes is the add-on that you need. Real-time MIDI, OSC, or, or, yeah, it will work. So that add-on allows you to import MIDI. So let's just point into that MIDI just now that we created. I think it's uh, this one. Um, we need to set the driver first. So there are two tabs that comes with that at routes add-on. You want to drive this monkey ups and down. So we're gonna go to the Z axis here and create real-time route. So we're gonna have this route, okay? Location, this actually takes all the three X, Y, Z location. We just want Z, so Z is index number two. So we're gonna be using MIDI and we want to receive and we want to record it. Okay, we need to have this on and then this is the rescaling of the number. By default, it's gonna use the key on number of that MIDI. So, if I hit this, convert to MIDI file, we have nothing. Surprise, what? Surprise, surprise. And we actually need to, to, to choose the right channel. I think channel number two is actually what this music lab this is using channel number two somehow. Well, anyway, that's uh, because I tried it many times and this one works. So this is the MIDI key. Okay, so it's confirming it for us, but the monkey goes should really high. But it's actually, if you look at the animations, I'm selecting the monkey head, graph editor, right? So this is our MIDI. There's interpolations in between if you turn this into intermolation to constant, so this one will match exactly this. So the graph will match. You can change interpolation to linear. Yeah, I think linear is probably better in this case. Ideally, it should kind of move ups and down, like more like a bouncing ball. That's actually kind of more interesting for our motion, but but you can always turn it into anything else. It's up to you. This, what matters here is the rescaling. So there is a direct rescaling uh, application from the MIDI key into animations. You can use auto. However, auto will kind of clamp it. This is probably better. Let's scale it to 0 and 50. And then just hit convert once again so now it's uh, it changed right Suzanne is a bit lower there yeah it's moving up and down it's a linear fashion not too exciting but uh, still it's just a uh, something that you can play around with you can actually just duplicate it slide it to the left and to the right a little bit I believe that will Sort of work. Yeah, that that will create something, right? It's almost like bouncing ball. Yeah, you got the idea. So that's the MIDI part, and the other part actually I'm using for the face cap animations. That one also I'm using the. Face cap. Uh, I'm using the app routes. There's this face cap import. Face cap is actually an app for iPhone that capture the face. iPhone or iPad with a face ID can capture, can scan your face and then capture your performance. I was listening to this tune and then reading my sentence, and then the, I bring it here. The there is an example actually face cap custom. So I'm using this custom head. Yeah, this is the maybe the face of the creator or face cap. So this custom head, I can just 
apply my face performance using add routes add-on the same add-on um, the developer talk with each other and so we can convert the performance the performance is like I said I was listening to the music and reading my jingle and I I can simply hit convert right it's a but it says target children should contain head and eyes objects okay this guy actually have head objects and the eye everything but this one should be down there and this one should be called head and then you need to create a an empty and then simply put this head and eye under empty so select the empty now and then convert the face cap file into animations so now this guy is saying I can blend a little together we blend more so that's the that's the jingle that we created so you think about it is a it's actually really interesting you imagine uh, you have a sentence flat imagine a melody on top of that sentence uh, and then you turn it into MIDI and then you bring it into Blender I think that's kind of interesting and you can actually dance on top of that the and then capture your dance performance the rhythm stuff there's a something a Hatsune Miku right Hatsune Miku is a Japanese character that's been created I think the been created with Vocaloid so Vocaloid is what's interesting for me although it's kind of expensive but if you have it it's a it's a, it's a synthesizer based on sound you can turn sentence and then just use a, this synthesizer and then it will create a, this audio audio and then the character Hatsune Miku is of course a virtual dancer idol but so this is the sentence and then it's, uh, it's recording it ups and down but you don't need you don't really need vocaloid it's a uh, but it's uh, interesting because it turns you can just type the sentence it's gonna turn the synthesizer and then it makes voice virtual voice for what you are doing you can just record your own voice you record your uh, your face performance your body animation performance and then you mix it up in blender and then you export it out as AR you know GLB or whatever you uh, Apple USDZ that will work except for the blend shape blend shape is not supported with um, Apple AR yet so but anyway that's a uh, that's the whole process hopefully this is interesting uh, something you can try this kind of tool is really powerful recording MIDI bring it into blender that's a uh, really the 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 gist here um, Okay, hopefully this is interesting and let me know if you have anything to add. Thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.